checking and operating the HC1. Checking. To make sure the machine is properly installed and working correctly, first turn the machine on using the power switch. Now open the taps and set the machine's main water intake control to maximum. Select the temperature by means of the temperature regulating control which should be set to 38 degrees Celsius and select prepare. Vary the flow to ensure proper functioning. Next, insert the irrigation and evacuation tubes in the machine and the speculum. Turn the lever from prepare to irrigate, checking on the water flow from the irrigation spigot. Set the control to fill and notice that the view tube starts to fill up with water. Check the pressure alarm by blocking the irrigation tube until pressure reaches 100 millibars. The machine should not allow pressure to exceed this level. To check the temperature alarm, increase the temperature to over 40 degrees centigrade. Then, reduce temperature to below 22 degrees. Make sure the alarm shuts off irrigation. With irrigation on, make sure that when the control is turned to the closed position, irrigation is shut off and the water flow stops. With irrigation on, check that the gravity trace element function and oxygen or ozone incorporation are both working. Once the above elements have been checked, remove the irrigation and evacuation tubes and install the cleaning hose. Now, fill the tank with disinfectant. With the discharge valve open, open the cleaning valve and check that this function is working properly. With the cleaning valve closed and the control in the fill position, open the disinfectant valve so that the disinfectant fills the view tube. Turn the discharge valve to end the test, making sure evacuation is correctly performed. Operation. Turn the machine on with the power switch. Now, fully open the water taps and set the main water intake to maximum. Select the desired temperature with the temperature regulating control and select prepare. Adjust the water flow to the desired rate and wait until the chosen temperature is reached. The bed should be situated 3 to 5 centimeters above the waste outlet. When the patient is lying down and ready, open the irrigation kit, which contains an irrigation tube, an evacuation tube, a speculum, an obturator and lubricant. Insert the lubricant-covered speculum in the patient's rectum. In this case, use a balloon to represent the colon. Next, connect the irrigation and evacuation tubes to the speculum and to the machine. Switch the control from the prepare position to the irrigate position, causing water to flow towards the patient, and select fill, causing water to enter the rectum. When the patient or therapist is ready, switch the control to discharge to evacuate waste from the colon. Note that if the temperature goes higher than 40 degrees centigrade or lower than 22 degrees centigrade, the machine will automatically shut off irrigation. The machine will also shut off at pressures over 100 millibars. The trace element, ozone or oxygen intakes, allow these components to be introduced into the colon in the course of the session. When the therapy is completed, the speculum and the irrigation and evacuation tubes must be removed and disposed of before commencing cleaning and disinfection of the machine. To clean and disinfect, connect the cleaning hose, select discharge and turn the cleaning tap in order to eliminate any waste matter from the bottom of the view tube. Then, with the cleaning control in the closed position, select fill and open the disinfectant valve until disinfectant fills the view tube between a third and halfway up until the view tube is full of disinfectant. Leave the disinfectant to act for 15 to 20 minutes. Then empty the view tube and rinse it by means of the clean function.